supermarkets have a problem. Their frozen foods departments are unprofitable. Groceries languish unsold in the freezer because customers reach to the back of the shelves to take products they assume are fresher. While supermarkets still search for a solution, students at the School for Design Thinking have already addressed the issue with a plexiglass prototype. This shelf unit is special because it follows the first-in, first-out principle. That means the product that's put on the shelf first also gets sold first. That was the basic idea behind our invention. Another advantage is that it's also an energy-saving unit. It's basically a hybrid between an open freezer shelf that lets the cold air escape and a closed one. Giant retailer Metro has already expressed interest in the invention. That's the basic idea behind the school. All of the inventions here provide solutions to business problems. Here in these small teams, we're able to unleash the creative potential that's hidden in everyone. And that, in turn, is put to use in projects beneficial to industry. The school has a budget of up to 1 million euros a year for its inventions. That's not much compared to the research and development divisions in large companies. The creativity of the students here is in great demand. 44 students from a broad range of disciplines work in small teams developing inventive solutions to problems. And there are no limits to their imaginations. The motto here is, anything that helps find a solution is possible. Deutsche Telekom in Bonn is also profiting from the students' creative ideas and inventions. Stefan Bungart coordinates the projects with the School of Design. The students' naivete gives them an edge, and I mean that in a good way, not as a criticism. We often end up losing sight of the essentials because we know too much. But the design school students take a completely fresh view of the questions that we grapple with in our business. Telecom has its eye on an invention by Manuel Ott and Raul Krauthausen. The two design school graduates were part of a group that developed an application concept for a monitor that lets people communicate over long distances. The students took their creative idea and made it a reality. We thought it would be cooler if people didn't have to spend their day sitting in front of their laptop in order to interact. I can cook together with my sweetheart, partner or family member. So now it's possible to share my life with someone else, even though we're hundreds of kilometers apart. The design students spent 12 weeks working on their idea. Deutsche Telekom plans to test the monitors for the first time in 2010 in a hospital in Berlin. Children who are patients in the hospital will be able to use the monitors to talk to their parents at home. The monitors are a new twist on an older idea. The design school gave us new ideas for using existing technologies. High-definition video conferencing technology has been around for a while, but we've always thought of it as something for business clients. We never really gave much thought to implementing it for private consumers. Students here don't pay for tuition. Instead, the school reserves the right to market their ideas. And it's a winning solution. This year, three times as many students will be attending the School for Inventors.